In the earlier unit, we understood what the meaning of a non-for-profit organization was. And uh, in this unit, we're going to learn about registration or bringing into existence a not-for-profit organization. Um, we, we know that we talked about charity and we talked about uh, people who want to do something for the benefit of someone else. Now, you would have a person who has a vision, who has a, a desire to do something, and he would be someone who, who wants to bring into existence an uh, organization. Now, it is possible that he can work on his own and, you know, just do the charity that he has on his heart, you know, whatever he's passionate about. But the problem is when he does that, the there is no succession. There is what happens when supposing he dies and what happens after his lifetime. So in order to bring into existence an organization which will go beyond the lifetime of the founder or the person who's passionate or who has the vision or the calling, as we would say in, in our understanding of, of a biblical sense, we say he is a person who has a calling for doing a particular job. What happens to the organization or the work or the passion that's within him after his lifetime can that can only be offset when there is an organization that will go beyond his lifetime and hence it's important that he brings into existence an organization which has a legal a separate legal entity a person by itself so I would like to say that he has to give birth to an organization and in doing that there are several aspects of giving birth to an organization that you need to keep in mind as you're thinking of how do I register how do I form an organization it must be kept in mind like I said that it's about giving it a identity of its own independent of the people who are founders or trustees of the organization that that you need to register and and form an entity so obviously, the, the first thing would be when you're moving from a single person to a group concept is to find the right kind of people who would have the similar or whom you can charge with, you know, with similar ideas or, or a passion for that cause, whom you can get them together and, and then form a legal structure. In our country, we have a few different structures that you can give in order to bring to birth, to bring into existence this organization. You could have a trust, which is a legal a structure of forming an entity. You could have a society or you could even be a company. And we must remember that under normal circumstances, apart from the administrative laws that govern the formation of these entities, the, the, the benefits that come to these entities, they all fall under the category of an NGO and all the benefits are similar. So in the formation stage, like we said, it's important that you find the right people who will come along, stand alongside you in order to be the trustees and take the vision forward and give it direction. So when you form, you need to really look ahead 20 years, 25 years, 50 years down the line and see what this organization will achieve. And the formation is, 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 is very important when you think about these things and put down in the form of a legal document and, and you say, where do I want to see this going? And you need to merge all the passion that you have into a legal document, putting them all down into what it is. Uh, at this uh, stage, I will also like to refer to accountability and transparency, which is actually on page 23 of your study material, uh, because I think that's important when we're looking at the stage of formation of how accountability is also important, or rather it, it kind of goes alongside your whole formation uh, of the entity. So we are going to say, what is accountability? Accountability is to give an account to someone for what you are doing. Someone who's interested, who has a relationship relationship with your organization, definitely you are accountable to God for, for everything that he has given you in terms of the passion, in terms of the vision and the money and the resources that you have. But the beneficiaries are also, are also people who are interested and the government is interested because they're giving you some benefit. The funders are in, in, interested in it. So, so accountability is a very key factor. And as you form and as you give your, uh, you know, put down uh, legal 
legal framework it's important that you bring in accountability structures so that when people look at your organization independent of yourself you know it is transparent and it is an organization that people want to come alongside with and work um and while you do that there are things or you would like to look at how do you do your accounting these are also aspects which may not necessarily be in in the with respect to in uh, you know registration but it's definitely with respect to how do i get started with this organization you need to have good accounting systems in place where there's a timely capturing of accounting records you need to have an auditing process in place where you need to have a statutory auditor maybe an internal auditor who will come alongside the management team or the trustees that we talked about the group of people who are leading the organization you need to have a good reporting structure where you're having uh, you know whether it's under legal requirements of the society or the income tax but also other reporting structures that you might want to put in to the document that you are formulating in the in, in when you're coming up with the formation of the organization so accountability you know bringing in terms of like budgeting and and you know making sure that there are auditing that is done and all those are things that you put into the document that you make because you want to have a proper accountability structure within the organization that you are forming and that it's a sound organization that you form and that formation stage is very very important as you bring people together give it a direction don't just pick up some document from somewhere and make yourself a deed think it through and decide on how you're going to form this organization in the coming sections we will look at uh, the various laws which are applicable to you know the formation in terms of how do i give birth actually take you through those uh, you know laws to see how you can form an organization thank you <laughs>